Hello guys, this is Sean from x Kai. Sean Jordan 101. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys how to get Kai working, okay? This is what you do. Um, make sure your PS3 is off until you forward all your ports. Uh, we're going to go ahead and download two files. They're virus free. We're just going to go to port forward on Google. We're going to click on the port checker. Go ahead and download that. And then we're going to go over to the static IP program and download that. I already have them installed. Okay, so I'm going to close all my browser tabs. And as you can see, I already have them installed right here. Now, you can go ahead and the static IP program right now um, make an IP address anyone you want but this is the thing you see these three numbers right here highlighted in blue you need to have those as your first start numbers for your IP address like this is the last numbers like the 1 and the 100 well you keep your gateway address the same your IP address you can change the last number to anything you want up to 256 so make it easy on yourself like 10 20 30 40 50 or you know some some easy to remember number because you need this now we're gonna take our gateway address right now and we're gonna go to our browser and we're gonna put it up in the HTT bar and our the, the password is usually admin of course I changed mine now once you're in your router here Cisco this is my router I have a Linksys E3 1000 uh, I mean E3000 okay so we're gonna go to applications and gaming on mine it could be different it might be under firewall or something else a different tab but you need to find port forwarding or DMZ which is the demilitarized zone meaning it's gonna open all the ports which is best if you have DMZ you don't even need to to set a static IP here if you have DMZ some routers don't support it some do now uh, most people just go to for porting port forwarding my bad and I already have mine set up X link high 30,000 UDP you need 30,000 and UDP it cannot be TCP it use it needs to be UDP set to your IP address you set up here which mines 192.168.1.100 well in this case it's the same thing because I want my ports to go to my computer which my router set up for my computer so I'm just gonna save those changes now we're done with the router part so we already set up a static IP and and we port forward it now to make sure these ports went through with X link Kai off we're gonna search UDP 30,000 to make sure this X link Kai has to be off now mine's gonna say open cuz I already did all that pizzazz and shit now you need to make sure that Kai is off in my taskbar I don't have Kai running now I'm gonna start Kai and I'm gonna be able to find my PS3 now we already got the port checker and the static IP another way to find your router to be able to log into it just type in IP config and boom there's your default gateway the same numbers we use on the browser to log in to a router and forward the ports so we're gonna go over to uh, start Kai the new one 7.4 is the one you want for PS3 7.4.22 uh, 7.3 is no longer uh, compatible with PS3 now because they updated it's gonna take you to a browser page and then you're gonna go to start user interface and then go ahead and turn on your PS3 now you need to go to search magnifying glass up here click that and then square the folder I just click that and then that and then boom um, so that's pretty much it once you're in your uh, area arena I go to France PS3 uh, black ops 
and as you can see there's a lot of people up uh, and yeah my name's Sean Jordan 101 I'm right there uh, so I hope you help I helped you all and I'm gonna turn off my PS3 right now and Kai to make sure you can see your PS3 first it will say not no consoles detected but this is important this is an important part you need to always turn on Kai before your PS3 is running always always start Kai first so at the first screen you're gonna see a whole bunch of consoles so I'm gonna click the magnifying glass and it's gonna say your orbital server blah 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 network reachable yes is it locked yes okay and then I'm gonna click the folder no consoles have been detected yet well this is where you start your PS3 and you'll see it and if it's blue then come over to Kai and if you follow these instructions on how to set this up you should be fine uh, my name's uh, Sean Sean Jordan 101 on Xlink Kai and Techmaster Sean on YouTube uh, farewell and have a nice day I hope you I, I hope I helped you out on Kai today thank you